Hey everybody, I'm Oakley at Oakley Does Everything, and today we're going to be building the neck for our 2021 Great Guitar Build-Off Guitar. Stay tuned. Alright, so I did a lot of sketching, a lot of planning, a lot of thought processing, using up those brain cells, and this is what I came up with. This is my headstock pattern that I'll be using that I came up with, and so this is where I'm at. I did lay out an order of operations that I think is what I want to go with. So the first thing we're going to do is route out the truss rod channel. So I will be using my router jig to route out the channel here on the center line. Using the jig will keep it nice and straight by having a little edge there to follow along. Hey everybody, just jumping in real fast. I want to say I appreciate all of you that have subscribed to my channel already, and I have had a little surge from this great guitar build-off. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. If you haven't done so yet and you're watching this video, please subscribe. It's right there. It's free, so you might as well do it, right? While you're at it, hit the like button and share this with a friend if you are able to. I would appreciate all those things. All right, back to the build. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and trim down our dimensions so I don't have to work with this entire piece, just what I'm going to end up using for the neck. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our bandsaw with a half inch blade and we're going to go ahead and cut out our headstock break angle and then after that we'll go ahead and trim down the thickness of our neck. Alright, so I just finished using my bandsaw to get the rough profile of our neck and what I want to do now is actually smooth out the headstock, get that a little bit more flush where it should be. And the way I'm going to be doing that is using a hand sander and smooth this surface out. So I have my headstock sanded flat and smooth, so that is good to go. Now I want to work on getting the end of my truss rod, this section and into where the headstock is going to be. And I'm going to be using my headstock template to try and do that. So I'm gonna be drilling down and in to try and match this hole. And obviously I have to be very careful because there is not a ton of space. So I do wanna be careful with that and just go a little bit at a time. All right, so we made some pretty good progress on our headstock with the truss rod in the neck. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and move back over to some brass and we are going to be doing some brass inlay on this headstock. So where these pieces are cut out, that is where we are going to fit some brass in just like the body of it. So we're gonna go ahead, move over to some brass pieces, transfer our template onto it and then cut them out with the bandsaw. the three pieces of brass that are gonna go in my headstock. I, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, before I actually go and put them into my headstock or inlay them into my headstock, I am gonna acid etch these as well. I do have the same pattern that I put into the body plate and I'm going to put those, albeit they are smaller, I'm gonna etch that pattern onto these as well.
All right, so continuing on, I'm gonna go ahead and work towards putting my headstock brass pieces and putting them in as an inlay. We're gonna do some tracing, then we'll do some routing, and then we'll do a lot of sanding. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I am completely not sure about myself, but when I cut out the profile or the thickness with my bandsaw, it left all these funky grooves in here and it's incredibly uneven. I'll just attribute that to bandsaw cutting through a four and a half inch piece of hard maple. But what I'm gonna do is I mostly just want this end to be really flat. I may take off a little bit more material just so it's easier for me to work with, but obviously I have this break angle for my headstock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this into my planer. About halfway through, I'm gonna raise it up so that it stops going through, and then I'll pull it back out and then just keep doing that. That way I'll leave the headstock alone and we don't put any danger of ruining it. So I just gotta be very careful with this. Uh, don't try this at home. Well, apparently I didn't record any of that, but we went from like all of it to being like this to some of it being this. Now, the reason I'm not gonna do any more than that is because the width of it gets smaller as we get closer to the headstock, so I don't wanna accidentally take too much off here just to get this too smooth. So a lot of this is going to get removed, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so I think the next step is to actually go and cut out the profile of our neck and headstock. Okay, so it was bound to happen. I did make a mistake in cutting this. I did go a little bit too far into the headstock under, on the underside right here. And so what I'm going to do to try and fix this, rather than starting over again and redoing all of this, I'm actually going to use the sawdust super glue trick. So I'm going to be putting some fine sawdust in here and then filling it in with super glue and that hardens it up and kind of creates like a micarta kind of thing. Okay, just to fill you in, I filled in that spot with the super glue and the wood dust. I'm gonna start sanding the neck of the guitar, so I'm not gonna show that on camera. You guys have seen lots of sanding before. There's not really gonna be a noticeable difference that you're gonna see besides it getting smoothed out. So I'll show you my progress here in a second. Okay, so I took some time and I sanded the neck and here you see we got it nice and smooth, rounded over. Uh, I got the edges to the dimensions that they're supposed to be smoothed out the end, and I made the neck fit in the neck pocket. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm super excited about this because again, I have never made a neck or done a guitar from scratch, and so far it is still going <laughs> excitingly well. All right, so I've been contemplating on my next step. I think my next step is to go ahead and fit the fretboard onto the neck and get ready to glue that in place. So I have my fretboard glued back together and in one piece it is a little flimsy so I might have to do some reinforcement with it. I do like it, I wanna keep it, but if it continues to be a problem, I'll probably just have to get rid of it. So next up is gluing the fretboard to our neck. I have the placement of where I want the nut to line up with and so all there is to do it is to glue it.
So I have the fretboard sanded down to the edge, the sides of our neck. And so that is feeling smooth and good to go. And I think my next step is going to be working on the fret dots. Now I bought this really neat mosaic brass rod that it's actually made more for knives, like the, the rods or the pins that you put in the handle of a knife. And I got this from TX Knife Makers Supply. TX is in Texas and he was really awesome. I messaged him to get what I needed and he had it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out about a quarter inch each using the bandsaw and then we'll go ahead and work towards putting these into our fretboard. All right, so real fast off camera, I went and I found my setter points for where I'm going to be putting my dots. And I did a test dot, so let's take a quick look. So here I have my dots from three, five, seven, nine, and 12. Those are gonna have the dots on the top side of the guitar. And then from 12 on up, those are gonna be on the bottom side of the guitar for my fret dots. And this is what it looks like set in place. So it's pretty neat. I'm excited about that. So first we're gonna go to the bandsaw, cut our mosaic rod into the pieces that we need, and then we're gonna go over to the drill press and drill our holes in our fretboard for our fret dots. So I think the next step is to go ahead and stain the fretboard. Okay, quick little addition is I was about to stain the fretboard and, and I realized I didn't have side fret dots. So I ran to a couple hardware stores and finally found one that had an eighth inch rod of brass. Cut that up into pieces with my bandsaw and now I have more brass. So our guitar fretboard has been stained and it has been sitting for about 34 hours at this point. Now what we need to do is take 4-0 steel wool and then just kind of give it a polish up. All right, so that cleaned up nicely. I like the way that looks and that gives a good contrast. Now I think the next thing as well as the last thing I'm going to do for this video is actually go ahead and shape the neck. I'm pretty sure I am done with everything else. I'm going to save the tuning machines for the hardware video, which is going to be the next video. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and start shaping the neck. Here is my neck after I did some sanding to it. And you know what? It's not anywhere near as bad as I was expecting it to be. I did end up going with an asymmetrical pattern, but honestly, visually, you can't tell. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, and it feels good too. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. We just got over a thousand subscribers. And so that seems to have done a bit for the channel. I am getting a little bit more surge, so please hit that subscribe button. If you've made it this far, you obviously like the videos and the channel, so please please hit that like button, share it with a friend, leave a comment, do whatever you can. I really appreciate it. And again, this guitar build is for the 2021 Great Guitar Build-Off competition. Voting takes place July 1st through July 5th of this year. So please, please, please make sure to go to the link in the description below where you can go to the Great Guitar Build-Off website and vote for my guitar. I would very much appreciate it. I hope you guys are loving this video. Again, thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.